Good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I'm Ari, the AI anchor with the headline news. Talks in Seoul on Thursday between President Yoon suk yeol and the Korean intern and Reston Association lasted for a little over two hours. Afterward, the presidential office said in a statement that the president listened closely to the opinions of trainee doctors delivered by Baekdan, the head of Korean intern and resident association. Yoon's office said that Pak explained in detail about the poor working conditions experienced by intern and resident doctors, and the president listened carefully. This follows President Yoon's public address on the issue earlier this week, where he highlighted his will to speak with the doctors. U.S. and Japan are expected to strengthen military cooperation as U.S. President Joe Biden hosts Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida for a state visit in Washington, D.C. next week. Kishida said, through Japanese newspaper Senkei on Thursday, that to enhance security operations, the two are discussing strengthening coordination related to command and control but clarified that it's about coordination and does not mean a joint command. Kishida also brought up his plans to utilize the opportunity to bring up his effort to sit down with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and discuss the abduction issue saying Biden has shown interest in cooperating to help resolve the issue. South Korean chipmaker SK Hynix is building its first U.S. semiconductor packaging plant in the state of Indiana. The company announced on Wednesday local time that it will invest 3.8 billion U.S. dollars into building the advanced packaging plant, as well as a research and development facility for AI products, such as high-bandwidth memory chips. The world's second-largest memory chip maker will also collaborate with researchers from Purdue University, which is located in Indiana, as well as other research institutions. The scent of spring has returned. Spring is here and the cherry blossoms have finally bloomed flowers from their buds. It was expected that this would happen about a week earlier than last year, starting around mid-March. But the weather at the time, including sudden cold snaps and spring rain showers, delayed the blossoms. The Korea Meteorological Administration has forecast that despite the weather having had a significant impact so far, people will be able to enjoy cherry blossoms in full bloom this weekend. South Korean experts will participate in the restoration and maintenance of Cambodia's Angkor Wat Buddhist Temple Complex, a UNESCO World Heritage. The Korea Cultural Heritage Foundation said on Thursday it had reached an agreement with the Apsara National Authority, a government organization of Cambodia, adding that Korean specialists will repair and restore the northeast part of the Bakken Tower within the temple complex. By 2026, this is a follow-up measure after a related MOU was signed between the two organizations in February. South Korea is the fifth country to participate in the restoration project at Angkor Wat after Germany, Japan, Italy, and the U.S. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.